Good afternoon. Welcome back to a sunny Saturday here at Christian Brothers College as we have the CBC Hornets taking on the Eaglesville Eagles. I am your commentator today, Sasha Wilson, joined by Anthony Glowitzki. Brought to you by Kaya's TV in conjunction with CBC Media Club and Scalp Gym. I'll hand over to Anthony Glowitzki to take you over the CBC Hornets team list today. We have Vidal Bravo starting at the loose head prop, Prince Nube at hooker. Kyle Letumoyo at tight head prop, Montliwe Tumpofu at left lock, Ethan Ferguson at right lock, Martin Liebenberg at left flank, Nyasha Musendo at right flank, Cuthbert Tinavapi, the vice captain at number eight, James Sisani at scrum up, Hopal Matsika at fly off, Aidan Bauti at left wing, Babongi Lengube, the skipper, at left centre, Michael Chimeza at right centre. Vandi Lemoyo at right wing and Sean Mutazu at full back. Thank you so much there Anthony and as you can see the hive, the hive is buzzing today as the CBC boys coming off the back foot looking to make an impressive recovery today. What do you think about last week's performance? Well, I think the boys put on a great show in their last game. It was unfortunate for them to lose but I think today we'll see some much better rugby from the boys here. I totally agree there Anthony. I think both teams um, Eagles also coming on the back foot here today as they lost to Alenik in Harare. Um, both teams looking to make a good comeback here and show some good rugby overall. Um, but anyway, we'll be back in a few moments as the game gets underway. CBC Hornets here just doing their pre-game ritual. And it looks like we'll have the Eagles to take kickoff. And we're off! A nice catch there from Babo Inlet Mube. CBC to spread it down the line and that's the Portuguese Mafia man Vidal to crash. It's shipped out to the line. Oh, there's the Portuguese Mafia man again. What a great boob up. James is signing to distribute. Oh. A knock on there from Bandile. Oh, we have a scrum, yeah? Scrum early on in the game, yeah. Really just test the might of the forwards, yeah. And let's see how well physically fit both teams are, seeing who will come on the front foot here after the scrum. Looks like CBC is the stronger side, yeah, with the first scrum. And looks like the ref's call is in favor of the CBC Hornets. Well, Anthony, here today we're going to see quite a matchup as teams look like they're both equally fit in terms of the scrum here. CBC just showing that bit more physicality. Oh, yeah, it looks like we have a problem here with the ref as he just enforces the law here in the scrum. 
A great scrum there from CBC and shipped out to Opa Matsiga at the fly half. Oh, what a bit of good play there with the 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Unlucky there on the wing. Think they'll have to fix that next time round. Oh, he tries to play quick and the ref says no go. Well, I'm sure today here, Anthony, we're going to see a bit of line play. Both teams utilizing those fast breaks of their wingers to try and get an early lead here today at CBC. True there, Sasha. I hear both teams have quick lines. Hopefully, we'll see some good passing. Oh, and it looks like there's just a bit of a fumble there. And that goes in favor of the CBC Hornets. Definitely being a game dominated by them in the first half here, in the first 10 minutes. Hopefully they can use the spell of position and turn it into points. Oh, a lovely break there from Cuthbert. Oh, lovely pass there. Oh, oh and it's a turnover, yeah. Oh, it's a CBC ball, yeah. Michael Chimeza. Oh, what an offload. But the ref pulls the play back. And that's the CBC Hornets skipper, Babongile Nube, there with the lovely scrum cap. And it looks like he'll be trying to utilize the game dictate play. You know, they call him the architect of the team. <laughs> Oh, he kicks it and safe hands there by the Eagles. Oh, and he's brought down there by the CBC Hornets. Oh, we have an Eagles Veil penalty here. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely kick into touch here from Eaglesville. Let's see what they can do with this lineup. I agree, Anthony. Probably wanted to take ground, try to get back into CBC's half and dictate the game. Looks like the CBC boys are showing all their love and support here for their boys to try and get the win here today. Eaglesville to throw it in. They try to maul it, but CBC hold them. It's shipped out to the line. Oh, that's a fumble there. Eaglesville are looking for touch again. A great deep kick into touch here. Eaglesville definitely piling up the pressure here on the CBC Hornets today. It's going to be a test of their defense as we've seen last week as the CBC Hornets took on the Falcon Mad Dogs that their defense is a bit shaky. What do you think about that, Anthony? And how do you think they can improve today on that aspect of their game? I think, you know, looking back to that game, CBC boys were a bit bunched up in certain areas of the field. I think if they could manage to, you know, support each other and um, we normally call it a bounce, if they could bounce out, I'm sure they'll be fine today. What a lovely bit of skill there. I'm sure they'll be looking to implement their bounce strategy here today as they try and defeat these Eagles, Vail Eagles here today. Looks like the call is in favor of the CBC Hornets. Gonna be another scrum. The CBC Hornets already showing their superior physicality here. 
as their forwards look in good shape. Great scrum by CBC and a break from Cuthbert. Great hands there from Michael Chimedza. Cuthbert Tinavapi making it into the Zim squad. Definitely going to be an asset here for the CBC Hornets, which they're going to look to utilize. CBC still under pressure. Oh, and a quick one, two, one, two. Looks like the referee's just gonna have a word here with one of the Eagles role players, the number eight. The ref definitely taking no nonsense here today and enforcing the rules of the game. Oh yes, it's a turnover to Eaglesville. Looks like they're gonna kick for poles, yeah? Well, Anthony, this could be their chance to take first blood here today at Christian Brothers College. What a lovely... What a lovely advantage it would be if they could convert this and take the points here at an away ground. True that, Sasha. I think it would be great for them if they get that round. A great kick here. Down the throat, and that will be first blood for the Eaglesville Eagles. Let's see how the CBC Hornets respond now. Definitely the heads are still up, no one's hanging low. The CBC know that it's just a bit of a setback here, but they're definitely still in this game. Very much an early penalty, but it's not a problem for them, as I'm sure the skipper will be looking to try and encourage their boys to keep up, keep it going, keep up the momentum, and look for a try here. A great chase from Michael Chimeza, but unfortunately, there's a knock on. Looks like it will be an Eagles Vail scrum here. Yeah. Oh, and shipped out quick. They're passing it down the line. That is Starboy. He steps one, he steps two, he's looking to break. Oh, and he's brought to ground there. Oh, a penalty to CBC. James is only giving the ball to the captain there, Babong Ilengube. He kicks for touch and he finds it deep in the Eagles half. Well, it looks like the CBC Hornets here can smell blood. Definitely looking to come and make a comeback there and try and equalize the score or take over. Hornets first line out. They try to maul it, but the Eagles are containing them. Oh, and there's a break. What's the call from the ref? It's a try. And that's try time here, folks, as the CBC Hornets get the first try of the game. Definitely that pressure was mounting to something there, and they definitely got what they wanted. Hornets first line out. They try to maul it, but the Eagles are containing them. Oh, and there's a break. What's the call from the ref? 
it's a try. And that's try time here, folks, as the CBC Hornets get the first try of the game. Definitely that pressure was mounting to something there and they definitely got what they wanted. Now it's a matter of just trying to keep that momentum up and carry on going. We have Ethan Ferguson here, the kicker. Not normally common to find a forward. What do you think here, Tony? True, we don't see quite a lot of this in rugby. But let's see what he has to offer today. His kicking record not so immaculate against Falcon. Surely let's see what the training and tactics have been implemented to try and improve his game. The CBC boys are behind him. Oh, what a great kick from there. What a great kick. The Hive is certainly buzzing right now after that try. And the CBC boys go 7-3, taking the lead. He started off well here, Sasha. Let's go, CBC! How will the Eagles respond to this? Definitely they'll be looking to come and make good use of the spells of position to try and get a counter try and equal the odds. A good kick there, hangs just on the 10 and a knock on there from Kyle Tomoyo. We have an Eaglesville scrum on the tip. Eaglesville to break. He looks to go by himself. Oh, and he's brought to ground there. Lovely tackle by the CBC number 10. The CBC boy is definitely quick on the defense, not giving Eaglesville any room to breathe. I think CBC's defense has been much better in today's game. Looks like the ref is just having a word with both team captains here. Eaglesville are looking for the poles once again. This time it's a bit further back. Let's see if he has the leg for it. Definitely, I'd say Tony a bit ambitious, but we know that these guys are very capable of converting here, trying to lower the deficit and catch up with the CBC Hornets. And it's a big kick there. Will he make it? It drops short and play continues. Oh, a big step there. He passes it to Starboy. What will he do here? We look for the step. He goes for the pass down the line there. It's Mandele. One, two, one, two. The boys are pushing. That's Starboy. He's going. He continues to go. And folks, there's no hocus pocus. Just focus. And that's try time. What a lovely try there, Tony. What do you think about that? Truly spectacular, Sasha. Taken from down deep on a quick counter and that's the line play we're looking to implement here today at Christian Brothers College. The Hornets are looking a lot more confident here today. And play continues. Oh, a big step there. He passes it to Starboy. What will he do here? We look for the step. He goes for the pass down the line there. It's Mandele. One, two, one, two. The boys are pushing. That's Starboy. He's going. He continues to go. And folks, there's no hocus pocus. 
just focus and that's try time. What a lovely try there, Tony. What do you think about that? Truly spectacular, Sasha. Taken from down deep on a quick counter and that's the line play we're looking to implement here today at Christian Brothers College. The Hornets are looking a lot more confident here today. The forwards are looking to carry the ball and the back line. Some lovely stuff from both. And it will be Ethan Ferguson to kick again. And that's actually his younger brother, Rowan Ferguson, to give him the cone. An easier angle here. Hopefully he will convert and add more points onto the board as CBC get their second try of the day. Full concentration here by Ethan Ferguson. Big kick and that's straight down the throat. And that's a conversion. Today his kicking is definitely much better. I'm sure all the training they did midweek is certainly paying off. True that, Sasha, true that. I saw him earlier on practicing down there in the other field. He looked great this morning. 14 to the Eagles, three. What a great game is turning out to be here at Christian Brothers College. As you can hear, the hive is buzzing with the support from the CBC boys. Good kick there. A knock on from Cuthbert. A penalty awarded to the CBC Hornets. Looks like Cuthbert was taken down while he was in the air. What a big kick there, and I'm sure the CBC Hornets are going to chase. Gathered lovely by the Eagles. He kicks it out once again. Safe hands by the CBC captain, and it's a big hit there. CBC Hornets definitely piling up the pressure here today and the Eaglesville defense definitely going to get tested. You know, later on during the game, the focus aspect now, the concentration, it gets harder and harder here on the pitch as the game goes on. We have a CBC scrum deep in the Eagles territory. CBC definitely looking for the fast break. It takes you to the right. Oh, and it's a big hit by Kathbert Vapi. Oh, there's a high tackle and it's a penalty. Two CBC's Hornets. They try to play quick and the ref just stopping play there. Oh, it looks like the Eagles player is going to be subbed, yeah? Oh, it's kicked into touch here. Yeah? Another CBC line out just on the five meter. Vidal, the Portuguese mafia man, to throw it in. He throws it deep and it's gathered there. Oh no, fumbled actually. 
and that will be CBC to take the ball. Looks like it's going to be a scrum to CBC here. Yeah? They look like the stronger side in the scrums here today, Sasha. What do you think? Oh, definitely, definitely. The boys are looking very fit today. I think the loss at home last week against Falcon definitely prompting a harder training session and pushing, motivating the boys to do better here today. Passes down the line to number 10. There's the skip on the ball. Oh, and he just misses Starboy's hands gathered there by Aiden Bauti. Looks like a mall's been formed, yeah? CBC will push back quite a bit. It's a scrum down to Eaglesville. Eaglesville shipping it down the line. He opts to pass it 1 2. Oh! He tried to go for the quick break there and he met his man being tackled nicely by the CBC Hornets. Eagles will still have the ball maintaining possession here, but the CBC Hornets giving them no chance to take an offensive break. Great pressing there from the CBC Hornets. Love the stuff. Unfortunately, it's a penalty against them. All right, lovely kick into touch there from Eaglesville. Let's see what they can do from this line out. It's a game of fine margins here, Tony, and it's definitely going to be about the small chances missed. The boys are definitely going to need to make sure that they use these spells of positions to their advantage and try and lower that deficit set by the CBC Hornets here today. Big hit there. Great communication here from the CBC boys in defense. It looks like it's a deep kick. He finds touch once again. Eaglesville lacking, lacking on the line play here. Opting to go through the center, which is often congested. Hopefully, they'll try and utilize that line play and use those fast wingers to try and take a break and get that much needed try here today. Eaglesville sending it down the line there, made in contact. So it looks like we have an overlap, but the CBC boys have managed to cover it up. Big hits from the CBC boys here today. Good pressure, he beats his man, but he's made in contact once again, taken to ground by the CBC Hornets. Oh, and a great tackle there from Nyasha Musendo. And it's a penalty to Eagles here. Good. 
When a lovely kick into touch here. Both teams look evenly matched at the line out here today though. I agree with you there, Tony. The kicking off for touch has been immaculate here by the Eaglesville boys. Utilizing the strategy well, but can they use that to their advantage to get the tries which they need? But 26 minutes into the half here at Christian Brothers College, where we have KS TV brought to you by in conjunction with the CBC Media Club and Scalp Gym. I'm your commentator here today, Sasha Wilson, joined by Anthony Glowitsky. <laughs> Time being taken here on the line out, not to Eaglesville's advantage as they're the ones who are being led here by the CBC owners by 14 points to three. That ball wasn't thrown in straight, but I think it was a good decision by the Eagles to try and jump at four. There was some good contesting from the CBC jumper at number two. Quickly there. James is trying to ship the ball out. He sends it wide. Oh, the ball's in the Eagles' hands. A great fight put up there by the Eagles. Eight. Looks like it's going to be a Hornets lineup. Vidal Thiago Bravo, the Portuguese mafia man, to throw it in here today. Safe hands there by Martin. Ships it wide, that's the skipper to kick. CBC there is Michael Chimeza on his man, immediately bringing him to ground. He steps one, he tries to go, oh, and he's made there in contact by the number 10. Oh, it looks like the number 10 actually limping there, he's on the ground. Oh, he gets back up on his feet, oh, we might have an injury here. The ref hasn't noticed yet. Penalty to CBC. He assures the ref that he's doing all right. That's the CBC number 10. Skip on the ball, yeah? A great kick into touch here. Safe hands there from the Eaglesville coach. Ball smiles on that bench. And we're 30 minutes in here, and the score is currently set at 14 to 3. The CBC Hornets leading this game. Looks like we have a change, yeah? Prince Nube, the hooker throwing in. Vidal thought he had broken the line there. It's the first time Eagles Vale have opted to tap and go. Oh, they send it down the line there. 
trying to take him to ground. Big man there. Sending it down the line. The Eagles with both cold hands. Oh, that was a big step. They played quick. Oh, and lovely stuff there from Martin Liebenberg. There is an overlap. They try to sit it down the line. Taken into touch there. Again, we have the Portuguese Mafia man, Vidal, to throw it in. This time it looks like we have a five-man line out here. Oh, a lovely throw here. Off the top to Montiwe to Mpofu. So need to cut Bettina Vapi. That's Hopewell to the skipper. Oh, it's a bit of a fumble there. CBC still with possession. Oh, it's a penalty to CBC. A quick tap from Bavoni. Let move the captain there. Ships it out wide. That's Ethan Ferguson. He looks for the oh, lovely stuff there. Lovely stuff there. Big chase from Aiden. That's Barty. Aiden Body there. Can you gather? He kicks it once again. And he just doesn't manage to get that final hand on the ball. The bounce was unlucky there, Sasha. <laughs> lovely thinking there from Aiden Bauti, the left winger. I agree there, Tony. A lovely bit of creativity shown here by the CBC owners today. That's the type of stuff we're looking to see at this level of rugby, the intuitive that they show the qualitative analysis of the game that's the type of small nuances we're looking as we see their boys play here today at CBC we'll have a 22 dropout here a lovely deep kick safe hands there by Starboy oh and he steps one he's going all the way can he make it oh and he just slips up there unfortunate there what do you think about that Tony yeah, really and truly unfortunate for him. He's got quick dancing feet there. Kayale to Moy on the ball there. CBC still have position and can make something out of this to put more points on the board. A great fight from Prince Nube. Oh, they're sending it down quite quickly there. One, two, one, two, he's passing it. And that's a skip on the ball, one-handed, showing that he has the skills. He can go all the way. Can he do it? He's taken out into touch. Looks like we're in the dying seconds here of the first half. Can they utilize this to their advantage to get points late on into the half? Oh, it looks like it's going to be a penalty to the CBC Hornets. There was a high tackle there. Looks like we're going to have a scrum here. Can CBC make something of this opportunity? A pick, oh, unlucky there, but lovely stuff from the CBC 8. And that is the end of the first half, folks, where we have the CBC Hornets leading 14 to the Eagles 3. Like a phoenix from the ashes, can the Eaglesville men rise again in the second half to try and give a better fight?
And welcome back to the second half here as we have the CBC Hornets taking on the Eaglesville Eagles. This is brought to you by Kahayas TV in conjunction with the CBC Media Club and Scalp Gym. I'm your commentator, Sasha Wilson, joined by Anthony Klowitzki. The score is currently 14 to 3 with the CBC Hornets taking the lead. And looks like it's Skipper to bring the ball back into play. And the second half is off with a big kick there down deep. CBC to chase. Well, the ball sent back. Sean watches it as it bounces and he gathers it quite well. Dancing feet he has and he takes it into contact there. Wandele Moyo on the ball. I must say, CBC's forwards have been a lot better at the rucks. They've been there quicker and they've been a bit more physical. The pick and go there from Prince. And Martin is carried back. is definitely buzzing here this Saturday afternoon as the CBC boys are all here in support to show their love and care here for the CBC Hornets as we take on the Eaglesville Eagles. Both teams coming off the back foot losing both of their previous matches. Eaglesville find touch once again. The Eagles men definitely going to have to dig deep here today to try and get up and equal the score set here by the CBC boys. An overthrow there and CBC have the ball. Oh, lovely stuff from Bandile there. He sends it down that style boy to the skipper. Michael Chimeza, oh! He skips past his man there and the ref calls. Looks like the ref has seen a forward pass there. Will be a scrum down to Eaglesville. Oh, there's an Eaglesville man that's down. Looks like he's in a bit of pain here. Looks like we have another scrum here. The ref may be small in stature here, but definitely enforcing the laws of the game here. Oh, we sent Michael Chimeza running there. What can the Eagles make of this position? Definitely trying to look to get more points on the board. Yes, Sasha, we can see that as they decide to go for poles. I would expect him to convert here as he's staring down the throat of the conversion pose here. And of course he does. And that's another three points on the board for them as they try and lower the deficit here today. The points now stand at 14-6. The CBC Horn is still leading here.
It's like we had a substitution earlier on as the Mafia Portuguese man was taken off for Tanaka Kwaitama, which will be his debut today. Kip goes down the center of the field, gathered quite nicely. Tackled there by Kathbe Tinavapi. Looks like we have a turnover of possession. CBC is ball. The fans cheering the boys on here today. And it's a lovely sunny Saturday at Christian Brothers College Blair. Looks like the Eagles captain is having a word here yeah, with the ref. Ethan Ferguson takes it into contact. Chip down the line there to hope well. Oh, just a bit of a fumble there. He tried to go for the kick, misplaced, and it's gathered there by the CBC skipper, Babongile Ngube. A bit of scrappy play there by the Hornets. And that's Tanaka with quick feet. James to distribute. Wonderful pass there. They go for the kick. CBC for the chase and the ref calls. Well, the ref calls play back. CBC are still in possession. Oh. Tanaka Gutama with the ball, oh! A knock on there from Prince Nube. CBC boys just showing their frustration here today as they try and get the play that they want to get those tries that they so desperately need to try and increase their score here, increase their lead as they try and get the win on the board here to get their season up and running. Looks like we have a substitution here. Yasha Musendo has gone off, and Unati Ndiwene has joined the boys out on the park. Looks like it's an Eaglesville scrum. Eaglesville sending it down the line. Quick feet, quick hands. What do you do? Oh, and it's a tackle there by the skipper. Wonderful bit of defense. An Eagles Vale ball here. Yeah. A quick tap. Oh, he beats Martin. Tries to beat Wabongile, but sports ground. Oh, and it's a bit of a fumble there. Can they maintain position here, the Eagles? A series of pick and goes there from the Hornets. James to distribute. That's Kathma Tinavapi looking to go through the gap. Oh, lovely stuff there. Well done. Can he go? Can he go all the way? And that's try time. And that's Hopewell, the number 10. A quick break there, a quick bit of hands, a quick bit of skill. Oh, oh, lovely stuff there. Well done. Can he go? Can he go all the way? And that's try time. And that's Hopewell, the number 10. A quick break there, a quick bit of hands, a quick bit of skill. And he shows what they made made of. The boys here today, the boys in green and gold, is at the third try on the board. Come on, boys. 50, 50, come on. 50, 50, come on. Ethan Ferguson to kick. Can he make it three out of three here today? Good job. 
steering the poles right down the throat here. And a lovely kick there as he converts. And that's three out of three here for Ethan Ferguson. The boys really doing well here, putting more points on the board. How will the Eagles respond to this? They're definitely going to have to keep their heads up. Definitely the captain here is going to have to urge his boys, encourage his boys, motivate his boys to get back into the game here this afternoon. The score is currently at 21 to 6 with the CBC Hornets leading. Deep kick there. It's gone out into touch. Lovely take there by Katha Tinavapi. Balls mauled out into touch. Well, what will the Eagles do here as they try to make use of this spell of possession? Not in the he seems to have taken a knock to the head there. A big shout out here to the CBC First Aid Club who are always on the scene for the boys, caring to their needs and taking care of them here as this is a very physical sport. And we commend them on the work that they've done throughout the weekends, giving off their time to make sure that the boys are doing okay and they are safe on the pitch. He looks to go it alone. Oh, big hit there. Another great tackle there as the CBC owners are on defense. They send it down the line looking for that line play. No, he tries to go it alone. It's a penalty to the Eagles. They're taking poles once again. Well, well, folks here today, all the Eagles points have been scored off the poles. It's a strategy which has been working, providing the points to try and close the gap here that the CBC Hornets have so wonderfully done. It's a big kick there and it's straight down the throat and that's another three points here for the Eagles. And that leaves the scores on 24-9, still in favor. Oh, it looks like there's a bit of a mistake there on the board and it's 21-9 to the CBC Hornets. Oh, a lovely deep kick here. A great chase. Safe hands. That's a really high tackle there from Prince Mube. He's shown a card, not sure what color. It 
looks like the CBC Hornets will be playing with the man down here. Seems like it's just a yellow card. Oh, what do you think of that, Tony? We're definitely attracting the ball here today as the ball gets kicked out. A new one has been brought in here for play. Oh, lovely stuff there from Martin Liebenberg. The scrum down here. Looks like it's going to be an Eaglesville ball. The action definitely right below our feet here, Tony. As you see, they go for a scrum. First warning here given by the ref. Even though CBC were a man down, they were the strongest side in that scrum. Definitely sending it down the line quickly. He's still going. The CBC one is pursuing. He breaks one, he brushes off two. He's still on his feet. Can they get that defensive tackle they so desperately need here? A wonderful run there, Sasha. Great stuff. Definitely gained a good bit of ground there. They look to play quickly. The opposite to take him by himself and not pass down the line this time. A big hit there. Eaglesville tried to take a quick tap, but the ref calls the man back to the mark. They look for Pauls once again. I beg your pardon, it looks like they actually go for a scrum instead. They tries to pick and go, but cut the Tina Vapi is on him quick. Oh, the balls changed hands. Michael Chimeza. Oh, and it's just a fumble of a pass there. Oh, Aiden Bauti quick on the collection, ready to break out. And the ref calls him back. It's going to be a scrum down here to Eaglesville. It's passed out wide here to the 10. A fumble and Michael Chimenta gathers the ball. He just doesn't manage to stay on his feet there, but CBC is still with position. He goes for a cheeky little kick there. The ref calls play back. It looks like it's going to be a CBC ball here. Let's keep it with the ball here. The Eagles coach urging his boys to close the gap. Tries to kick it off for touch, but it met by safe hands. Oh, he skips past one, he skips past two, and he's still on his feet. Oh, and brought to ground there. Great defense there by the CBC Hornets. We're halfway through the second half here and the points currently stand at 21 to the Eagles 9. CBC Horn is doing superbly on the park here today and it's going to look like a crucial win 
here if they manage to maintain this score line. Will the Eagles manage to dig deep here and try and equal or surpass the score here set by the CBC Hornets here today? The game has looked evenly matched up until now, but of course the Hornets have been a bit more clinical. And that's the name of the game here, Tony, as I talked about the fine margins in the game of rugby, the concentration which is going to be needed, especially towards the end of this game. Oh, we have a turnover, lovely stuff from Cutbit. Oh, it's a CBC ball, the Eagles Vale man was offside there. We should play it quick, sends it down the line, that's Babongile, to Hopewell, to Michael Chimeza. That looks like it's a forward pass in the most crucial part of the play there. The frustration is mounting here. Words of encouragement amongst the players, yeah? Eagles Vels crime here. Eagles are still with the ball. Griff just having a word with both of the captains here. Contact there. Great defense by the CBC Hornets. It's a penalty and a quick tap here by Eagles. Oh, he skips one, he skips two. Oh, he's made by a big tackle there. Great defense shown here by the CBC Hornets. He's sitting for touch and he gets it. Can Eaglesville utilize this opportunity to get a try of their own? Looks like we have a player down here. And the CBC first aid club here on the scene, ready to help and get their man back and safe. like a Hornets front row has been sent to warm up. Will we see a change soon, Sasha? Hopefully so. You know, these diamonds of the game fatigue tends to set in and a good pair of fresh legs is what might just need to change the tide of the game. Lovely stuff there from Martin Liebenberg. A great steal. Fortunately, it's gone out for Nicholsville. Line out here. Yeah. Oh, great take from Tanaka Kutama there. It's a penalty to CBC. A quick tap by James Sisani. It's Vandile Moyo on the ball. That's the skipper. Saying to Hopewell. That's Michael Chimeza sitting down the line to Starboy. That's what he said. It's down to Bounty. Can he shake him off? It's back to Starboy. Eaglesville back in defense here. CBC just not quick enough on the breakout there. But the boys can definitely smell that something is cooking here. Sending it back to Hopewell. 
He sends it deep to the skipper. Can they get the line play? He skips past one, he skips past two. He keeps going. He fades in. Oh, and he meets contact there. Opting to go by himself and not utilize a pass. What a great bit of ground which has been covered there. Can they get their final try? And yes, they do. And that's try number four for the CBC Hornets here. What a great bit of skill shown back from the deep, deep, deep of the own home base there, all the way to the other side of the Eagles. Opting to go by himself and not utilize a pass. What a great bit of ground which has been covered there. Can they get their final try? And yes, they do. And that's try number four for the CBC Hornets here. What a great bit of skill shown back from the deep, deep, deep of the own home base there, all the way to the other side of the Eagles. Great bit of play here by the CBC Hornets. The Eagles definitely going to have to dig deep here to get back them into this game at the dying embers. We've got 25 minutes in and it's Ethan Ferguson to kick once again. Can he make it four out of four? Definitely being on good kicking form of late. Let's see what he does. Lucky. And unfortunately that is his first miss kick of the day. But Sasha, it looks like we've had that substitution now. Kyle Moya has gone off and we've got Tabi Sinzlovo to replace. Definitely a fresh pair of legs here on the park here, Tony. Definitely something that the CBC boys need. And looks like at the scores here, we have 26 to 9. CBC Hornets here leading. Eagle to try and kick it in here. They send it in deep. Oh, the skipper doesn't have a safe pair of hands there. Easily collected by Wandi Lemoyo. Skip on the ball once again. Oh, it's a dummy. He skips past one. He skips past two. He's breaking here to Kazbati Navapi, the Zimbabwe national. Oh, brought to ground there. Unfortunate bit of play. Go for a here. Martin Lebenberg with the ball. Sasha, it looks like another CBC front row is warming up there on the bench. It looks like that's Tine Vimbo Nyoni to be warming up. The CBC boys here still making a lot of noise, rallying up here, supporting the CBC Hornets as we see them leading 26 to 9 on a sunny Saturday afternoon here at Christian Brothers College, Balawaya. Eaglesville Morlid was sent out to the flap. He beats the CBC 10. It's a penalty to the Eagles. Good defense here shown by the CBC Hornets. As we see Kathbert Tinavapi, also known as the technician of the team, doing a lot of groundwork here today. Touch is found again by the Eagles. Eagles will to throw it in. A 
And it looks like the referee's having a word here with the Eaglesville staff, the management. You know, you have to be careful here. It's a game which is a gentleman's sport here. And he's just enforcing the law here as he is the only practitioner who can give out the rules of the game. Both men reaching an agreement here. And play continues. Looks like we see that substitution there and Tine Vimbo Nyoni looks to be on the pitch. Doesn't look like that ball was thrown in straight. James fights for the ball. Oh, the Eagles captain is called in once again by the ref. While Tony, the Eagles were captain here, the number 10, showing a great bit of skill, really rallying his boys up. All the play here has been through him, through the center. Hopefully, you get that lucky break and get the try that they so desperately need here today. True, Sasha, true. I see the substitution has taken place and Prince Nube has gone off. Looks like it'll be a CBC scrum. They send it down the line. That's Hopewell. That's the skipper for a big kick there. CBC to chase. Michael Chimet the first on the scene. Unati Ndiweni just missing as he bounces over him. Eagles will now have position once again. Martin Leibenberg to grip. The man down to the ball there. It's a penalty. I don't think the tackle is released there. Looks like the ref is beckoning his man to just make sure he understands what he did wrong there. And that's the type of refereeing we want to see in the modern game where the players are educated on their mistakes. Oh, lovely. Stuff there. Looks like we're gonna have a CBC line out once again. CBC definitely being greater here on the defense. A must improve form here from them, shown from their previous game at Falcon, where the defense was a bit shaky. Definitely a more solid foundation being set going forward. Like we have a scrum. And we have three minutes left of this game today. Can Eaglesville get a try which they so desperately need here? Or will the CBC Hornets take it home for their first win here? That another front row we have warming up there for CBC Sasha. Looks like the deputy head boy Caesar Paradise will be coming on. And that's finally a try here for the Eaglesville Eagles. One they so desperately needed in the dying embers of the game here. They finally get what they've worked for, a much needed booster of confidence and motivation here for the boys. As I said earlier on Tony, it's a game of fine margins and concentration and fatigue tend to set in in the last last minutes of the game shown here by a lack of concentration by the CBC Hornets as they just slip up on their defense and the Eagles get a try. The CBC Looks like the deputy head boy Caesar Paradise will be coming on. And that's finally a try here for the Eaglesville Eagles. One they so desperately needed in the dying embers of the game here. They finally get what they've worked for, a much needed 
booster of confidence and motivation here for the boys. As I said earlier on, Tony, it's a game of fine margins and concentration and fatigue tend to set in in the last, last minutes of the game, shown here by a lack of concentration by the CBC Hornets as they just slip up on their defense and the Eagles get a try. Lovely conversion there from the Eagles. Indeed, Tony, indeed. What a lovely kick there. And it looks like they get four points on their try. Catching up with the Hornets, they've now halved their score. The skipper on the ball once again. And it looks like the score is set at 26-16, still in favor of the CBC Hornets. They kick it deep to Chase. Safe hands by the number 10. And he kicks it back straight into the CBC half. A knock on there. Looks like we'll have a scrum down to Eaglesville. One of the CBC coaches here just beckoning the CBC midfield to tighten it up. Passing down the line quickly. Oh, and it looks like he slips, unfortunately, as he tried to distribute the ball out. CBC on defense once again. The number 10 pushing, taken to ground. What a good tackle there by the CBC skipper. This should be the last player. A great fight there from the Eagles. Well, come off. We have a penalty to Eaglesville. They look for a touch and they find it. Dying minutes of the game now, Tony. What can they make of this last spell of possession? And it looks like CBC have position once again. And that's game over, folks. And the final score is 26-16 to the CBC Hornets. I've been your commentator today, Sasha Wilson. And Anthony Glowitzki. Brought to you by KS TV in conjunction with CBC Media Club and Sculpt Gym. And good afternoon, you're joined here by Anesu, the Eaglesville Eagles captain. So Anesu, can I get your thoughts on the game here today? I think it was a very good game. A lot of positives to be taken from the game. Of course, last game it was a big defeat from Hellenic, but we stepped up today, so I'm proud of the boys. What do you think was the greatest aspect of your play? I know you came here and it was a loss, unfortunately, but what can you take away from this positive feedback to your lads? I think today we improved mainly on our defense because from the recent games we've been getting beat like 42 nil, 57 nil. so the boys really pulled it off today. All so right. I'm really grateful for them. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through. Unfortunate today, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. And good afternoon. I'm joined here by Wandile Moyo, a back from the CBC Hornets, and a forward here, Mondli Wetumpofu. So, congratulations, lads, on the wonderful win we had here today. Any comments on the game, Mondli? Personal on my side as a forward, I feel if we had um, set up earlier as forwards, we would have done better. And I just want to say thank you to the lads for the, the, the first time tackles and for the go forward, because there's a move that we did and it came out. So, I'll, I'll give the lads that. Thank you. Any thoughts, Wandile? 
Uh, we're grateful for the win, but we still have to work on some things. And uh, we're just hoping to get better next week. Thank you so much. Especially coming off the back foot here to get a first home win. How do you think this is going to impact your game going forward, the momentum? Are you guys looking to carry this into the next games coming forward? On my views, I feel this has given the boys some confidence and I believe that this has brought back the school pride as this is our first home win and I believe we'd want to keep this going on. So we're going to do our best, we're going to put our bodies on the line to make sure this happens. Thank you. Any further comments, Evangeli? Uh, we're just happy for the win and we're just hoping to step up the level next week. Uh, I believe it's a home game again and uh, hope it's to just do well. Thank, Thank you so much, Mr. Moyo. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. Mpofu.